So, the Pat McAfee show posted this yesterday, and they were talking about this post from Clutch Point. And most of the people on the Pat McAfee show was trying to justify why this image is true. Thankfully, they do have Pac-Man Jones, who was saying how stupid and idiotic it actually is. But let's go ahead and talk about this and break down these two pictures. So what this uh, Clutch Point post is supposed to be about is the fact that it's saying that Kirk Cousins is a better playoff quarterback than Joe Burrow because of these stats. Now, the stats they do not talk about are the following. Joe Burrow is 5-2 and two in the playoffs, while Kirk Cousins is 1-4. Joe Burrow threw nine touchdowns, four interceptions in the playoffs. Well, Kirk Cousins threw five touchdowns, one interception. Averaging, really, one touchdown per game. He played five playoff games, he threw five touchdowns. Um, Joe Burrow in the playoffs have been sacked 29 times. Well, Kirk Cousins has been sacked 14 times. Of course, the average uh, QBR for Joe Burrow is 93.8. And that is pretty consistent. It's like he had 100, 100. Uh, 88, an 85, a 90, so it all averages out to around 93.8. While Kirk Cousins is 93.7, but in all honesty, he had his first playoff game, he had a 40 QBR, and then it's like 40, 112, and then he, I think he had like a 60, an 80, or something like that. Like he's been all over the place when it comes to QBR. Now, for completion percentage, here is the big thing. Joe Burrow has thrown, has completed 169 uh, throws out of 251. Kirk Cousins has completed 103 throws out of 155. Joe Burrow is 67.3% completion uh, percentage in the playoffs, while Kirk Cousins is 665 So, clearly, Joe uh, Kirk is throwing the ball a lot less than Joe Burrow is, 1,000%, and he's also getting sacked a lot less than Joe Burrow is. So, let's just put those stats in there for context, okay? So, here's what they're trying to break down. They're trying to say, okay, 1.75 touchdowns per game, per playoff game for Kirk Cousins, while, again, Joe Burrow only threw 1.4 touchdowns per game. First off, Kirk's only thrown five touchdowns in five games. So, I'm not sure exactly what that 1.75 is. What I'm guessing is he probably had one game where he threw two touchdowns or couple, maybe through two of his playoff game where he threw two touchdowns and that's what they're looking at that is such a stupid stat because that means the other games he didn't throw touchdowns that oh I, I love it 1.4 touchdowns per game uh for Kirk Cousins now here's the I'm sorry for Joe Burrow here's the difference though and I'm gonna go ahead and break this down Kirk throws the touchdowns in the beginning of the game when the game, really, at that point, does not matter if you throw a touchdown. Well, yes, it helps you out, benefits you. If you throw it in the beginning of the game, it's not as important as throwing it in crunch time when you have to win the game. And that's when Kirk gets, uh, that's when uh, Joe gets the uh, job done. He throws it when the defense is, like, at its top of a top because they're not trying to allow, you know, anyone to score and beat them. While Kirk does it in the very beginning when the defense is playing loose. There is a big difference there. Second thing, the interceptions. So obviously, yes, Kirk threw one interception. Joe has thrown four interceptions in the playoffs. But if you go back and look at Joe Burrow's interceptions in the playoffs, a lot of them could be qualified as glorified punts. The reason why I say that is because sometimes, like for example, a third down and long, he just chucks up a ball 60 yards and it gets picked off. We would have punted the ball the next play later if it wasn't for that because of the fact that, again, he's just taking a shot. You take a shot down the field like that, 60 yards, it could be a P.I. call. Who knows, maybe your receiver just ends up catching the football and is absolutely, uh, you know, an S-plus tier receiver. Or, again, it gets picked off and then, bam, it's just a glorified punt. He doesn't really care too much about his stats of, oh, I threw a pick there because, come on now, it's glorified punt. For Kirk Cousins, he throws interceptions in crunch time when you can't do it and you can't mess up and you can't take the L. Look at the Giants playoff game last year versus them when they were the best team in history and the Vikings lost. Come on now. Or look at the Packers game um, week 17 when the Packers absolutely demolished them. Second thing, 93.8. Um, 
8 passer rating versus 96.5. I don't know where they got that stat from because I looked at the playoff, uh, the, what's it called? I'm going to see exact website so I can say it. Statsmuse.com that does all the playoff record stats. And that, unless they're looking at something else, that's not the playoff rating at all. Um, third thing, though, 260 yards per game versus 254 yards per game. We already just debunked that with the whole entire how many times Joe Burrow throws the ball versus how many times Kirk Cousins throws the ball. So, overall-wise, yes, Kirk Cousins. I, and that's, uh, let me let me double-check that stat, actually. Now, now I'm trying to double-check those stats. Yeah, according to the website, they have 209.4 yards per game for Kirk Cousins. And let me see what Joe Burrow is. Joe Burrow is uh, 260.9. So, literally what they have up here. So, Kirk Cousins does not have 54 point whatever. It's way less than that. It's actually 209. But, nonetheless though, again, I don't know why that stat even matters. Kirk Cousins throws the ball 100 times less than Joe Burrow. So Joe Burrow is more consistent of a passer, while Kirk Cousins might just get a big throw or a big Hail Mary type play, and that gets him lucky where Joe Burrow just consistently dinking and dunking you down the field and making critical throws. So that's a stupid stat to even look at. 22 points per game and Kirk Cousins 20 points per game. Cool. <laughs> I don't know why that stat even matters anyway. Because, again, you've only thrown five touchdowns in the game, Kirk, in five playoff games, while your running back might be scoring touchdowns. And that's congratulations. Your running back, your defense scored touchdowns. Kirk clearly is not scoring that many touchdowns, while Joe Burrow is scoring that many touchdowns himself. Now, you might say, well, wasn't that playoff game versus the Ravens? Uh, Sam Hubbard had the fumble for six? Yeah, he did. Awesome. Uh, Joe stole through, through two touchdowns in that game. Next one. 18 uh, points per game allowed, which is great job, Joe. And then 28 points per game allowed, which is dang it, Kirk. Okay. The Bengals have an actual good defense with a good defensive coordinator. And they're not just playoff choke slash overrated team. While the Vikings have an overrated team and don't have a good defense or defense coordinator. That's pretty much all that is. Now, what they're trying to say by this is that, you know, that the Bengals defense bails out Joe Burrow. He, he They bail him out. They don't bail him out. Come on now. He puts up the stats. He puts up the numbers. He does everything that he needs to do. The defense, yes, while well, it's great and it's awesome to have a great defense... If Joe was out there throwing 16 picks a game, defense doesn't matter, right? Defense does not matter at all. Also, Joe Burrow is playing in a tougher AFC than Kirk Cousins in the NFC. Look at the AFC teams. Look at the NFC teams the last couple years. The Bills, the Chiefs, the Dolphins, and now the Jets. But obviously the Bengals, the Ravens, the Steelers. We play in a very tough, you know, AFC. While the... Vikings, they play in a very weak NFC that really outside of the Eagles defense and the 49ers defense, you're not scared. But yet he still allows 28 points per game. Um, The last one is three, 13 defensive turnovers forced. And then obviously zero defensive turnovers forced for the other side, Kirk Cousins. Which again, like I said, he throws 150 more passes than Kirk Cousins does. And he actually does not, actually is a quarterback versus Kirk Cousins. Last thing I'll say is also the fact that Joe Burrow has been to a Super Bowl, back-to-back -back championship games, and Burrow has been in the league for three seasons. One, he was hurt, and two, a back-to-back -back championship and a Super Bowl. While Kirk Cousins has been in the league since 1970 something and still has yet to go to the Super Bowl and yet to do anything in the playoffs but go one and four.
I know the point of this is almost comical, but come on now. Stop playing. Kirk is a top 15 quarterback, but Joe Burrow is the best in the league. Period. End of story. Peace out.